Western history. So in my point of view, I think the students should develop their talent and uh, to experience their hometown, to, be, to create their works, not just learn from the books or from the series. So I'm starting to organize the, uh, the students. So this project is called talking about focus on the abandoned buildings by the government in Taiwan. Uh, actually, this situation in globally in the world, including maybe Germany has uh, some, some kind of these uh, buildings. Uh, this is uh, because this, this project has run over 10 years, so it's uh, including 362 students, including. Uh, there's uh, two students are here. So uh, Zhang Chenshen, uh, say hello to hello. everyone. Hello. And uh, Lai Xiaoying, Xiaoying, oh. Xiaoying over there. Yeah, she's also participated in the school uh, the project this time. So uh, I'm very proud of them because uh, when they are students, they discover their hometown and find some problems and try to solve the problems by their own uh, own way. So this is a list of our uh, students. It's, a, it's, a, it's quite a lot, so it's, it takes uh, uh, over 10 years to run this project. And then the, the other one, Chai Shixia, just left. Uh, she's now in Moonhead, but uh, his work is over here. Okay, uh, so Lai Xiaoyun's name is the first. <laughs> <laughs> You want to take pictures? <laughs> so this is our team in, uh, uh, in front of the abandoned expansion hall in, 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 in Haoyuan. So this uh, question is very important. As, as like, uh, this uh, documenta trying to ask people or ask art, can art change society? I think it is quite a big question for everyone. Um, the, I think the boys, just the boys, maybe say that, but uh, actually, I think it's not too much artists can, can do that. Actually, I don't know. It's a big question for me. Even for the students, <coughs> they didn't know because they don't have any power, any, any <coughs> support to change the society. So, when I start in the new semester in uh, 20, 2010, in March, I asked students, you want to learn the art history from the Western or you want to do a project with me together to find out the abandoned uh, public property in Taiwan. So it's a democracy uh, process, so everybody, I, every student said, yes, I want to participate. So okay, so I said, let's do it. So in, in one semester, it's uh, four, uh, four months from March to, uh, to July. I could, we collect over 147 cases in, in Taiwan abandoned buildings. And uh, we try to explain and, uh, and publish. So we published the book. Uh, maybe if you have time, I will, I will uh, I've left in, the, in the, the, some tables you can find to read it. So, uh, so it's quite quite important. Is, uh, the the students they go they uh, went back to their hometown to find the abandoned spaces with their parents and their friends together, and then they start to learn how to write articles and uh, photos themselves. So I, I did a workshop together with all the students. So it's a uh, one artist. And the one uh, documentary director is uh, Sandy Rowe, but she is uncomfortable now, so she cannot uh, participate today. But uh, tonight, I think she has another talk. So this uh, totally is uh, three university, 10 years, three, uh, 372 fine art students. And we published eight books, and uh, 17, uh, 777 cases be selected. So it's, uh, it's quite a lot of uh, cases study. Because I was the ruling uh, photographer over 20 years, so I went to different locations to find uh, some ruins. Uh, and I find some ruins made by government, so I feel very 
guilt, uh, very strange why the government want to uh, uh, build those buildings useless. So in Taiwan, we call the useless or the white elephant, white elephant buildings is called the mosquito hole. So it's called the wind squad. It's the uh, only mosquito flying, living inside, very happy. No, nobody don't go there. We call the mosquito hole. So we are start uh, in the class and uh, in the workshop. So some of them become very good artists. I'm very proud of them. So this is uh, so so different students from the all the uh, all, all of the the uh, different counties from Taiwan. So I ask them go home, ask their friend, uh, uh, parents to help them to drive to looking for some uh, abandoned uh, useless uh, property in their hometown. So they, all of them, they feel very surprised because they, 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 they never know their, uh, their hometown such these buildings that uh, they never saw before. This is a um, holiday, uh, how do you call that, a vacation, vacation uh, uh, villa by the National Events Department, but abandoned. Uh, through our report, they be, uh, they destroyed and now become uh, another uh, cultural park now. So this is because you know in, you know in, in the globally the the people don't like have a baby now. So we, we don't have too much. Uh, we we used to, we used to be have a lot of schools, but now we, we we don't have too much children to 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 study. So we 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 have another campus abandoned. So, so now we uh, we found we found uh, over two hundred uh, abandoned um, campus in Taiwan. So we feel we should uh, become an NGO or NPO organization or become uh, another way to, 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 to reverse the spaces. So actually, actually we find a lot uh, this kind of buildings everywhere. But the most important thing is this. those pictures. I think uh, it's, it's powerful. So how can we uh, organize, become a show, or become exhibitions, or become a book to to influence the government or influence the media? So we 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 start to uh, do the uh, case study, and this is my school. Uh, in my school, uh, studio. This is my, my daughter and my kid. These are two students. And my daughter now is about 13 years old. So all the process, including the entity, including the, the, the right article, and including the, we go to the print factory, I ask student, students to test it together. And then we touch the books sent to the government and the media. So this is a recept to the president and the vice president and the premier and the city mayors. Important uh, president we were sent to them. So it's including the uh, 10 um, different part of the properties. One, uh, this is the first one. Second, uh, so we, we, we have a lot of parking lot uh, abandoned. So it's so, so weird. Or some industry parks. Cultural and education uh, facil uh, facilities and, and the gym. Uh, as we pole is locked, yeah. Okay, so uh, this case is uh, actually it's quite political, quite political uh, study, uh, quite political arts uh, 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 project. So in Taiwan, you know, the Asian is very different with Western, Western society. So, so people, uh, the, the government, they, they want to control everything. But in Taiwan, it's very de democracy, so it's fine. If we did this project in, in China, I think I would despair. Sometimes, some, somewhere, I don't know. So it, it's lucky we, are, we did this project in Taiwan. So this means Taiwan is very open to the, to the people. 
Okay, so this uh, this uh, first book we published in 2010. This is a parking lot. So uh, the student is quite <laughs> quite funny. She take the elevator to the top and uh, walking down. It's not not any car, but inside until the second floor. So 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 she display a really uh, late uh, floors is empty, totally empty. And uh, we were calculating how money they spent. So they were have uh, some the titles and who in charge and the location and the build year and uh, how much money. So uh, this uh, when the when this book published in 2010 and uh, the government was very shocked and uh, they did some response for us. I will show you later. So, so those cases we are doing very secret because you know I'm just a part-time part professor. Uh, you, you in Taiwan we are the, by hour. Uh, one hour maybe uh, 20 euro. So one semester is 14, uh, maybe uh, it's been a few, few, few months. <laughs> so we, we did very secret and uh, because if the I, I didn't know when the if the university know maybe I will they will be stuck this project. I, I didn't know. So we, we very uh, very carefully to do this. And then we find a lot of property everywhere. So the, the picture I show you, you can see in the books o over there. Maybe later you can uh, take a look at the details. I, I don't have time to explain every detail. But uh, the funny way is if and one uh, one uh, one day this um, reporter came to our class and then she writes a very simple report in the newspapers. So the Western government called me. Say please not. She um, tried to explain that this is not a mosquito hole. It's not quite an elephant. But uh, I th we we think it's uh, it's quite it's, it's actually it's a ruin. So we we we, we send the students there to, to to have a report and take some pictures. Okay, so this is quite funny funny case. This is a national um, palace museum in in in, Jai, in the south of Taiwan. So the government built uh, a building, so uh, so people can go there to see this uh, this empty uh, land. Going to have a big, very big museum in the future. But uh, but the, the local people they waited for for, for many years. It's still the same. So they, they built a, a final count, countdown um, a clock. So it's, it's left uh, over uh, seven, ten days. It's open, but but finally it's uh, zero. It's still the same. So it's become negative until the negative three thousand uh, three hundred. So the government start to 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 build the, the museum finally. So they, they took out the this uh, this cut. Uh, clock. Um, for this case, later I will show you some uh, uh, documentary by Sandy. Uh, it would be very uh, interesting. You can see all the process. Okay, this is a, a documentary by Sandy Ross, so we can take a look quickly. Uh, it's the fifth, it's a short, uh, third, uh, this is
Okay, we can take a look. It's a 15 minutes. And this uh, documentary is uh, made by uh, Sandy Rowe.
So their parents have been very exciting there, the students, because they know much about the political difference in the society. So they find criticize to the government. So they were bringing the kids to, together at a special tour to the different groups to take photos. So that's one of them.
Yes, actually, um, through those uh, very uh, special uh, short crew with their parents, those, so those kids, those students, they, they, they development their point of view to, to see the, the other side of the, how do we say, the landscape or the, the policy. And because it's a very short uh, film, actually, if you want to see the longer, longer editions, you can please check, uh, please uh, search the uh, Louis Over the Rainbows. It's a 41 minutes. Okay, so uh, thank you very much for the uh, for Sandy followers for 10 years. And she now she's in somewhere hotels watching us. <laughs> so I can't see. Okay, so the last one. <laughs> okay, so we uh, we published the first book um, in 2010, Taipei Biennale, and then we have a presentation just like today. Then we, we got one table and one book. That's fine, uh, because there's a quite difference with the government. So, so the, the, the official, uh, the Li Hongzhang, the Professor Li Hongzhang just talked uh, three days ago and uh, with TCS together to question government officials in my studios in 2000 October. And uh, why they such nervous and such uh, Terrified because we we sent those books to the media, so they they can they, they did a lot of report. So the the people's uh, I guess for the government because it's waste a lot of money. So we try to upside down the aesthetic systems uh, from the students to, uh, uh, to the to the law to the to the to the top to upside down, just like uh, the spirit of this documentary. Especially the good school to, to do the run space, the, to, to run a project similarly. So we threw those uh, a report. Okay, they, let us see some uh, one of uh, two uh, report from the English TV report. Because um, our official very afraid. Uh, The title, the, the documentary title is called The Ruins Rem Over the Rainbows. Thank um, you. Yeah, please Thank check. You. It's, a, it's a 41 minutes, and we found four students uh, how they uh, research and how they into the ruins to take photos and how is their feelings. It's okay, Paul. So that is watching some. Uh, media and uh, see how the government uh, are response for this project. It's hard to believe that public constructed buildings that are now idle cost taxpayers of 400 million Taiwan dollars. These white elephants known in Taiwan as mosquito balls have attracted the interest of video artists, Albert Jones. Four hundred of these locations are Sunday in that report. 
So, um, okay, so because through the newspaper, the radio, the televisions, and uh, I got phone. This is my mobile, mobile, uh, mobile phone, right, 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 baby. So the phone is from the president, and the vice president <laughs> called me directly to my my BlackBerry. So I think they may be watching me for a long, very long time, so they know my numbers. So if you want to know Taiwan president uh, numbers, you can uh, <laughs> picture. Okay, uh, and they they call me when I'm very shocked. So why uh, I've been watching that thing? So we have a meeting with the pre premier, with uh, with uh, the premier Wu uh, Duoyi, and this is the official. This is our team, including the Sandy and photographer and uh, the Hong Zhang professor and the students. And uh, after this meeting, they are all. I think they they are all lost their job. <laughs> <laughs> Because some department, uh, <laughs> so I, I, by the way, I send send the premier with two more books about ruins. <laughs> so it's, so he promised he promised one year for several of these problems. He said never again. I said release <laughs> to the NGO or to, to the NPO, not to the rich man. And he want to personally who are involved, involved in involved in any illegal act related to those cases should be charged according to law. So someone may be in jail. I don't know. Okay. So in the next year, in 2011, October 8, when we meet, one one year after we passed the second one including 100 cases and a large military deaths but during that year I, I quite terrified because there's not any phone call from government and my phone phone call some very noise <laughs> I don't know why but uh, we still investigate different cases such as like this one the government government want to build a bridge this is Taiwan and this is a small island it's called Penghu. So Penghu, there's a Wang Island and the Jiangjing. They want to build a bridge. But finally they left four country uh, things inside the sea and nothing happened. And they want to use this uh, sun, sunshine to become uh, energy. But uh, finally they failed also. And they want to build an uh, airport, but there's no airplane to fly, so it's quite quite strange. Mm -hmm. yeah. And this is very important cases in Taiwan because Taiwan is a very important. Uh, they, they, they try to produce a lot uh, products. So this is a very large, very large. Factory uh, facilities areas, so they re, 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 they uh, use this. Actually, they they have this is actually original original uh, uh, island, but it's become a uh, factory uh, land. So we we hire a shop to landing the island to investigate what they do inside the. The islands. It's cost a billion, a thousand billions to build those islands. Yeah, she's very excited. <laughs> so actually, uh, okay. So this is a expansion hall. We can see the airplane fly departure, and, and we can see the expansions together. But uh, finally, it's failed, and now it's uh, destroyed by government. Now, just right now, yeah. it's called the uh, Combination International Special Hall. Yeah. That case is quite interesting because this is my student. 
now he became very famous artist, Gen Ji Sheng. And when he was charged, he, he living here. But the government said, we want to make a shopping mall, please move out. So he moved, moved out, and his hometown, he destroyed, he destroyed by government. But when he grew up to, to, do, to protest our project, she go, he go back to the hometown, but it's totally the same. Nothing happened, no shopping mall, nothing. So he very angry, so he became a fun chi. We call the angry, angry generation. They want to fight the government. So he's uh, when he was child, child in the kindergarten. Uh, the they are tourists to watch in their hometown, back to their hometown. So this is a uh, uh, national defense Depart De department, uh, kind of school there, but not abandoned. So I I go back there to take photos ten years after. And it, though, most of the, those uh, most of those cases are the uh, the erased now because it's more it's more easy way to 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 do those spaces. They they, they don't need to uh, spend more money or spend more uh, more more project to run the spaces. Okay, so so after two years we improved the number three, including one hundred cases again. So this is also the erased. This uh, this power station is totally useless. Become a picture, become a museum. Tell, uh, teaching people how to recycle your your garbage, but they they sell. Uh, they 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 will collect all the garbage, transport to Kaohsiung, a big city, to burn those garbage. And this case is quite interesting because it's a pattern for over 10 years, nobody cared until this one because we were sent all the books to the government. So uh, this film is quite interesting. This film is... Uh, um, the government want to take over the... want to take over the buildings but they don't have. Uh, they think a very, very, they think very funny way. I think it's very contemporary way. They, you will see it from the videos. But let's speak Chinese.
half of my bag and then release the space to the hotel to run the space live again. Okay. So it's more quiet. Okay, so so because we will send the books to the government. And the government will see our books to ask the the, the, the local the local government to, to, to take care of those spaces. So in 2014 uh, we published another one and every book will have a book release. So it's getting more and more, so I don't know why the people like to build these spaces. It's a, this, this space is for the Arduino people to have an activity there. But this is a, this, those 20 factories is, all, uh, is totally abandoned because they want to develop a uh, factory in Huali, in the east of Taiwan, but it's useless. And uh, this case is the, this uh, garbage, uh, how, how do you call that, a recycled uh, factory, but finally is uh, abandoned. So when we send the books to the government, they, 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 re, they rebuild this factory after two years. Uh, and in Taiwan, we have a lot of swimming pool uh, in every uh, high school or junior school. But they, they don't have money to run the space, to run the swimming pool, so it's become abandoned. Some of them uh, it's a lot of uh, lunatic living inside, so it becomes a security problem. So uh, in 2000, we, uh, 2016, so we published another one, it's number five. This is a Chai Shi Xiang's World Books. Uh, she's a participant in this project. And uh, this one is quite interesting. Let me introduce you. This is the site of the, the guard. It's called the Matu. This is a Matu guard. It's the biggest guard uh, in, in the world. The government won't try to do that, but uh, the local people against that. So it's abandoned. Become this way. So they moved the guard to the other side to build another guard now. So we're finished um, at the, 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 the end of this year. I will go back to take pictures to, to see the, re, the real highest amount in the world. So this is uh, an another cases. And this one is quite interesting because Taiwan used to be have a white territory in the Cold War. They have uh, built some underground jails to to love, uh, how can I say, the political prisoner, they were inside here. So when we went back to those spaces, have a lectures, something happened. Like ghost, not ghost, they were uh, kicking the door, uh, kicking the door, and we were very terrified, so we left uh, this space. Uh, every Publication we sent to the government, to the president's palace, they will send back the letters saying thank you very much for your for your book. So this is the letters. And then they will start to destroy it, erase those as buildings after a few years. So this is system, how the government took our money to build those public public property, but useless system and uh, how we pay the tax and we send our money to the bank how they become a, a, a very big system to run those buildings but because it's a Chinese if you are interested uh, maybe later we can I can explain you in detail so now you uh, you can see here this uh, English editions in 2016 uh, and this is uh, number, set, uh, number 6 in 2018, in May, we published another, including 100 cases. Because those photos are taken by the students, they are not professional photographers, but I prefer to let young 
people, so our young students, to learn how they get into the ruins and uh, took photos without any professional training, because I think it's more close to the reality, not too much uh, photoshopped. So I think it's quite important to, uh, to let pe uh, students understand uh, the system is some, something wrong about the system. We should uh, collect all the cases, all the pictures, and uh, let all the people know. We pay all the money to the government, but they did that. Uh, wrong things. We, we, we should do something uh, such like uh, um, not very uh, professional reporter, but it's very. Uh, they are full of the energies, uh, the, the, the teenagers, they do something good to the government. I think it's quite good uh, spiritual for this project. So, in, in two, uh, two 19, uh, 2019 December, we passed the number seven. But uh, unfortunately, COVID 19 is uh, start at the uh, very big, big inverse in that time, so we start this project. And, uh, and this one is uh, performance center for the Afino people, but they start for six years, no use. Uh, then we passed this book sent to the person, president. And after three months, they start to recreate, re rebuild again. And this is the biggest Maju, not, not, not Maju in Taichung. So this is a Maju. They, they, they cost the six billion to build the uh, lotos. So this is Maju. They build the lotos, but without a guard. Because this, the money is run out, no money to build guard. So uh, it's quite strange uh, why the government wants to build the guard. So this uh, the central control uh, rule is, is also is no no people take care about uh, about the, 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 the site and not far away. This is now a uh, white elephant. It's called the white dolphin um, museum. I think they they try to built another one inside uh, the, the Mountain Guard uh, buildings. But finally it's become the, uh, this, you want to learn the Chinese, you can learn this one. Uh, mosquito hole, it's called the uh, wind squad. Uh, white head, uh, white, white head, head, head elephant is these three, uh, three uh, characters. And uh, because we want to try to have a big influence, so we cooperation with uh, a YouTuber. I think it's a very new way for uh, to let more people know. So that does take a, a look about the cooperation with the YouTuber, and uh, it's, uh, it can translate kind of in, in English subtitles. Because this uh, the, the YouTuber gave a, a lot of pressures to the government. Later we will see how it happened. And this, uh, the case we will show is uh, this is one of the most expensive white elephants in Taiwan. It's called the uh, Skyland Museum in Xinzhou.
Okay, now, so this, this film is, is cooperation with a very popular YouTuber in Taiwan. And uh, this film is given big pressures to the government. So the, the uh, uh, Xinzhu city mayor uh, immediately uh, reused this space in three months because it's this film. And uh, all the new buildings they continue to become uh, a museum uh, uh, in the future. So I think it's uh, quite interesting. So now, after the films, so they start to, to re recreation the space become a children's museum. So we also, we also have some uh, exhibition tour. Since uh, uh, 2011 in, in Mocha, so we traveling. But I find a very important thing is, uh, I think the most useless things is uh, through the stations. Because the, the official they will never go, go to see the exhibitions. And the, 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 the low levels of cities, the people they will never into the museum to see exhibitions. So it's, it's uh, useless for, for them. So I think this is a very good cooperation with the YouTuber or published books or have a website or some, uh, some social media. I think it's quite a uh, big interest to, to them. Uh, so we have a show in uh, ancient by Biennale. So I asked the participant uh, students to get to install the books. So they learn how to install uh, the exhibitions and the uh, cooperation until until the end of the twelve nineteen. Yeah. So later we can see some interview because we we have an interview with the uh, each uh, each student by Sandy by Washo to Sandy director. So later we will show his or uh, her films to, to you guys to look. So we will also show the papers from the government. In 2016 uh, we have a show in Sinipe Binari. So we asked the local people to point out the local is used public property. So they feel very interesting, just like the, the, the wall. So they point out the Sini and the whole whole Australia locations. So we um, we arrange those uh, those uh, locations become a list and uh, donate those works to the local uh, museum. So we have a show in the Mama Museum. It's called the uh, in the elderly Mama Museum. So, uh, because in my point of view, I think uh, the artwork uh, is when, 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 when we finish the expressions, the, the photos will be destroyed, become the garbage. But I, I think it's too wasty, so I, I prefer to donate to the local uh, museum, not become the garbage. So, uh, so, uh, so they, they just uh, give, give us uh, expressions. So we invited the local for photo groups to have a, a tour to discover the local abandoned property together. So they will they will be showing inside the, the, the Biennale together. And the Sandy, uh, this is Sandy, she's now in the hotel. Sandy will uh, take all the interviews with students. So uh, let us listen what uh, students say. Say it. okay, because they are all uh, uh, fine art uh, students. They will never think they will, they can participate the uh, social uh, the social uh, works. They are they are maybe focus on the ink, focus on the open but they through the photo the photo project they can participate uh, the society with their parents. 
So we can show this printer views. Because we uh, we um, every project uh, every year is a, a one semester, so it's uh, all around four, thirteen to fourteen students, and so so. As the, the end of the semester, we will have an interview with those students together. The director said we were asking them some questions. How is their feelings? Wait, how is their feelings and what's your point of view to participate in this project? And uh, some questions, some answer I feel very, uh, very interesting because they were they learned a lot from the, the, the case they study, and I also learned a lot from those students. So I think that the, the class is, uh, is uh, based on the, the, it's based on the, the same levels. It's not like teaching students, it's they teaching others, including me, other, other classmates. And including me, so we uh, together to find some. Okay, let us listen to the uh, students' voice.
So this is students from Malaysia. In Malaysia, it's also allowed in the public, public policy.
So the films, I think, Sandy Rome is up, 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 uploaded to the YouTube. Maybe what time can take you to sell. So because we don't have much time, so we continue to. It's almost close, almost over. So um, that continue to see the problem. with the last gen contemporary art space together. So we use we spent four days to fight the Kilompo's abandoned public property. So we found twelve in that four days. So this is uh, there's a high school abandoned just beside the last gen. It's uh, Actually, they never know. They, they never know this uh, high school there. And and this is a restaurant center, but it's totally abandoned also. And opposite is a very famous Malaysia art contemporary art center. So uh, also in the long space, just is an upset to the abandoned uh, restaurant. Okay. So this is a, uh, um, what can I say? This is uh, a uh, playground for the children and they can watch in the, the night in, in, uh, to see the whole playground. But it's totally abandoned. So through the workshop, uh, they also has uh, some reports in the local newspapers. So it's a little difference to the selection. In, in that year, this selection, a president selection in 2018, I think. So some, some, someone win that, that selection. So this, this location is very good. You can see the old Kelongpo uh, views, very beautiful places. So, uh, because my studio is full of works, so I decided to dominate all the photos to the Taiwan, uh, National Taiwan Museum of My Art in 2019. And uh, including the books, there's uh, seven, seven books, including one English edition, so it totally is eight books. And that uh, if, if you want to find more in, uh, details, you can check out the website of my my website. Uh, my, my website. You can see this LSD um, section, and into the section you can find uh, all the works, all the articles, including the uh, Hong Zhang's uh, articles there. Yeah. Because it's just finished last night. So. <laughs> You can check. Uh, so that's what I'll do. Because we don't have the money to run this, the project, so so just put in my website. More, it's more of convenience for people to see the whole uh, details and works. So you, you can you can choose uh, here. There's a different type you can choose. You can see the expressions used or the articles or the the works, photos works. Yeah. And this is a release uh, uh, price price release. Okay. Uh, okay. So at this today's talk to share with you guys about the uh, public property project in Taiwan as the past 12 years. 
and a special thank you Hong Zhang uh, organized the uh, Biennale invited us to participate in the Biennale thank you for that and there was a right article to start holding us yeah so you want to say something about um, that? <laughs> um, no, 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 no. Yeah. So Hong Zhang is also from Taiwan it's a uh, uh, um, is a professor at the uh, uh, National Taipei University. And, uh, and uh, well, uh, uh, it's uh, actually uh, when uh, when Red Zone initiated this project, it was uh, it was a time when I uh, had this chance to do uh, Taipei Biennial. So uh, so at, uh, during the Biennial, we loved we started this project, and it was. Uh, uh, was I actually start with a really bumpy road because uh, pretty much uh, uh, at the same time it started to call up uh, with uh, um, with the media attention and not to mention that uh, at the time that the uh, Taiwan's government was really cautious uh, cautious about uh, Rachel's work uh, and it was like a, 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 a lot of uh, a government officers start uh, wanted to see me want to see us, right, so uh, the, like cultural minister of, of Taiwan and you, and we pretty much uh, went through everything until at the end we, we met uh, at that time was like uh, the vice president of Taiwan uh, we got to meet them and you know we want to realize uh, 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 what kind of uh, uh, what kind of effort they was uh, they would do in order to stop the the mosquito museum and so on and so forth. So it's like, uh, you know, it was, uh, at the time I was really scared because uh, I, I was I was doing the uh, uh, I was doing the uh, working as a curator for the Taipei Biennial, but it's also uh, also Rachel uh, Rachel's uh, uh, Rachel's work that uh, it might get into a, a lot of. Uh, uh, Blackmail and threatening too. So, uh, so I, I think the work itself is really grateful and worthy of the memory. And it's, uh, almost uh, throughout, it's already like I would say twelve years. You know, it's uh, a thousand of years. It's, uh, it's really mark a uh, long lasting effort uh, for 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 the work itself. Uh, yeah, I think uh, this piece is. Um, and this piece is not just art, of course, as, as you see, it's also about education, um, it's a source of uh, education, especially uh, the, first, uh, the first class that Rachel initiated, actually from, from the school that I'm teaching, I'm, I'm teaching at Taipei University of Art, and uh, really, uh, uh, really as, uh, as Rachel claimed that uh, a, a lot of uh, students back then were really interested in Chinese calligraphy, and that uh, Rachel's work, Rachel's project, give them uh, a, a chance to step out the painting studio and into the social field. I, I think that's also a really meaningful situation. It, in a way, it's, of course, it's, uh, it's uh, corresponding to the philosophy of a good school that, uh, that, that, that we try to promote it here. So enough say and and good luck with all the work and it's a great fortune that I'm here that I, I can meet you and you know stay on the stay on the stage for a couple weeks more. Thank you, Hong Chan. Uh, and uh, special thank you, Hong Chan, because it's, uh, we have a show uh, Happy Day in Vietnam. It's the first time show in Vietnam and uh, it's a, lit, a very huge impact to the government. So. That time we are very busy to see the different government officials okay. and give them some suggestions, and <laughs> and then we continue to publish uh, one by one books. Yeah. So
So thank you very much for coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank, yeah. thank you very much yeah. you, your yeah. the presentation today. And the, uh, this, this, uh, this, uh, this is a teamwork, so it's not my work. This belongs to the LSD. But because the LSD is a ghost group, it's not existence real. Uh, because all the students, students they just uh, select one class and they graduate. But I, I think they become a very good artist now. So I'm very proud of them. And uh, they, they, I, I, I hope this experience is a very good experience for their life to, to, the, to do such, a, such a things to challenge the government or to, to discover their hometown by this way. So uh, if you have any questions, I would like to listen to your, vo your voice or you have any uh, response, I, I would be ha happy to listen to your ideas. Thank you very much for your coming and uh, give, give me this opportunity to, to have a perfect ending for this project. Thank you very much. Thank you. So, have any questions? Then you can have a photo together. Yeah. You are the LSD you are the ghost uh, group, one of them. OK, so we need to take a job. Let's all see how to Come together, yeah. Uh, John? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> 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 okay. Nice lab, nice. Thank you for coming and uh, give this opportunity to share this experience to the public. Thank you for this tour, right? And uh, Sandy. And thank you, Sandy. Because Sandy is, is got sick. So I hope latest talk will, I don't know, so maybe will take place. I don't know. Uh -huh. But however, we will thank send Sandy. Uh, uh, everybody. Uh, <laughs> thank you, everybody. So today's. Uh, it's, I think it's, it's, it's no questions, so it's time. So we uh, appreciate your participation and uh, hope to see you again. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.